Silence is preferable to empty words. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to erase you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place, just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me? In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for, because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed, and they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis, and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the Ancient Ones stored information. This place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding stelias, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing the temple. It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. as stubborn as its former owner. You treat humans as useful apes. How many 
artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. Many questions for me. You should have come along. Change will come. And not just the so called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me, would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alethea won control of this place. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We used to see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Her words are for you, eagle bearer. My preparations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors. Alethea says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. Tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. 
You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No, no, lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. What do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness! Fiction! Where I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invitation was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right, it's time. I can't. Not yet. Listen to yourself. You've gone mad. You need to accept. Some knowledge was not meant to be had. Knowledge is power. The only power worth having. At what cost? I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We? are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. 
the cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. Give me the staff. You have to. For the sake of everyone. The knowledge contained in here could fix everything for generations to come. I can't just walk away from that. What good is knowledge if there is no one around to use it? Leave if you must, but I will not. I'm not going without the staff. I may be old, but I am not as weak as I appear. The knowledge is mine. Mine! Give me the stuff. You do not deserve the infinite knowledge of the creators. That's the point. Nobody does. No. This is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then... Open sesame! So much power! The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine! This is more complex than any Isu temple we've found. Lisbon, the Arctic... I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. Mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. 
time to troubleshoot. like it can move. Those pillars seem to have mirrors on them. Such a bright light. Its presence cannot be an accident. If you manipulate those light beams, they might illuminate something important.
is it? exists in knowing that you know nothing. A good friend told me that once. Possible. Alexios? Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icaros is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus! You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose, to find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh, no. You can keep it. It's broken. But you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Erototos could not describe. But... Everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order, chaos, if either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I've traveled from one end of the earth to the other. This belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Alexios again.
What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevis. Thera is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. I'll tell you someday. It's too complicated for small talk. It's not me, is it? I've proven I'm very competent. I'm exhausted, Varnavas. And ignore him. When you're ready, I'm all ears. I need every last detail. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. Speak for yourself. I'm on a hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are, Perhaps he, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. <laughs> <laughs>